AMG brand positioning. And is AMG as a brand strong enough to have an hypercar? Doing a hypercar as everybody else, doing it kind of a standard with V8 or V10, that would be would not be in our mindset uh, uh, regarding the future of performance. So the initial idea came up when I had a discussion with Andy Cowell, who runs uh, HPP. And he always asked me since years, when are you going to put a Formula One engine into a street legal car? And uh, then sometimes, 2015, I called him and I told him, you know, I, I think I do have a, good, a clever idea. Are you able to run that engine in a street legal car? Well, the Formula One power unit in the back, two-seater. Then he asked for two months, thinking with his team about that idea. And after, yeah, I think one and a half months, he called me back and told me, yeah, we, are, we, are, we, are, we think we can do that. Now, it's one of those phone calls where you sort of go away, scratch your head a little bit, chat to the guys here, the guys and girls here, um, spend some time with Simon Wilding and his group to say, look, Simon, there's this opportunity, could we? And uh, it was like a, a, I think, the easiest way to say it is a massive smile on my face. Because from my point of view, it's, uh, it's a bit of a schoolboy dream. I mean, who wouldn't want to be involved in, uh, in, in taking a Formula One powertrain and, uh, and, and realising that in a road car? Um, so we spent lots of time thinking about it, not just at work, at home you're still thinking about it. Um, and then after a couple of weeks gave Tobias a call again and said, yeah, we could do that. We need to do a little bit more work to, to really do a, a good feasibility study, but our, our gut feeling after the two weeks of, of, of basic calculation was, yes, this is possible. This means this is a performance example for the future. So the idea was when AMG is doing a hypercar, when we are going to engineer a hypercar, then it's all about defining the future of performance. It was clear for us, and it, it is my personal understanding, that when AMG is going to do a hypercar, it must be different, it must be more sophisticated, it must be the best example of future of performance. But we're going to have to define the future of performance with a hypercar like that.